what is going on to you virgos so there's a link in the comment section below called the link tree link click on it it will redirect you to a website in which you have all the ways to financially uh, support me support the channel so i can most definitely keep the show going i just want to say thank you to everybody that has reached out came through got a reading got my books thank you so much truly humbled by all the uh the support that you have given me whether it's subscribing watching you know helping me get a bag from youtube or just pretty much so coming up you know coming to get a private reading thank you very much so so for you virgos you have the ten of cups the knight of uh pentacles and the queen of wands so a lot of people very much so the ten of cups the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands a lot of people were wrong about you A lot of people were wrong about you. And what I mean by that is <laughs> now a lot of people are starting to see that you Virgos are very much so hidden gems and that if they didn't spend so much time stereotyping you and trying to play the game of, you know, if you don't fit this particular look, then you not really worth anything. They would actually find the time to see that you Virgos are worth a lot more than what a lot of people try to project onto you because most people try to in the past would try to project onto you virgos like you were poo put you were nothing you were trash they are playing the hypergamous game so now that a lot of you virgos are taking care of yourselves as you should always be doing even in a relationship you know a lot of people can't handle the fact that they were wrong so they're not going to tell you that they kind of miss you but they are going to be upset at the fact that it's like stocks they didn't get in and start to talk to you when the when the treat when the when the value didn't reflect its share price you understand what i'm saying because that's how stocks are to any of my stock heads me being one included to any of my stock heads you know what it is that i'm talking about how it is that any successful or good company, their stock, when they first get onto the S&P 500, is going to look like it's low. But the value of it is much higher. It's just that the share price hasn't caught up to it yet. And then you have, right, the Ten of Pentacles now and the Three of Wands. So the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands represents how a lot of people want you to see them. They, they're kind of putting in their bids. They want you to see them. They want you to give them the attention because the Ten of Pentacles represents, they know that you're really, a lot of you Virgos are very much so being serious about your future and about what it is that you want. Very serious, very serious. Serious as a heart attack, very serious. I know, I, I know me being a Virgo myself, I'm accomplishing everything that I said that I was gonna accomplish. I'm going to live as long as I possibly can, and I'm never retiring. I'm going to grind as hard as I can. I'm going to get to my goals. I'm going to get, I'm going to make through. I'm a, I'm going to be the living standard and the representation of the excellence that I have up in my head. Period. Point blank. And the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands represent. So because of it, the Three of Wands are all about choices. And how you have a lot of choices that you can make, but it's best for you to make very wise decisions, right? Make good choices. Um, and that a lot of you Virgos will make choices that are beneficial for you in the long run. You're not thinking short term. You're thinking long term. What would be a very good match for you as far as a partner is concerned in the long term? What would be... What, oh, and just in general, what would be good matches for you in general, right? And or oh, good things for you to do in general. What, would, what are good practices? And the Page of Swords represents a lot of people are not going to like that because the Page of Swords it represents a lot of people are going to be upset about that. Page of Swords is them being angry, them being upset, them being like, why are you basically, why are you not taking me along with you? 
And the Seven of Cups now represents because there's a lot of questions. Can they stop playing games? Because you're not. You Virgos aren't playing games. You Virgos have this. Because the, the Seven of Cups is really like a two-pronged scenario, really. It represents, you know, they, you know, when you blend it with this, it represents how they want you to give them your undivided attention. But at the same time, can they stop talking to everybody else and them give you their undivided attention? If they if they act like if they're gonna say yes, which is a lie, and then continue on to talk to other people, they're lying. And even if they were to volunteer and say, yeah, what would it be worth? Since so many people, so you gotta understand Virgos that Virgo represents the underdog, right? Virgo represents the underdog. Whatever it is that people uh, see or they don't wanna see within themselves, they, they, they project it onto you. This is the reason why Virgo and Pisces have such a problem because remember, Pisces represents the trash can of the Zodiac. People disrespect Pisces all to high heavens. Why? Because people don't want to, because people like to project their dysfunctions onto Pisces is why. And they don't want to see, they don't want to have to sit back and reflect how they are. Because sometimes Pisces can represent Sometimes Pisces, right? Pisces represents retribution. So it represents like karma from the perspective of the same kind of traits. They will share some of those same traits that you possess and that they will they will show you some of those traits that you have back onto you. So it's like so it's like sometimes people don't want to see how their own personalities projected or given back to them. I ain't gonna say projected. I'll say giving back to them. Now, Virgo being the opposite zodiac sign of Pisces, as Virgos, we are still kind of considered the trash can of the zodiac by proxy because, once again, people spew their idiocy and their mental illness and their stupidity onto us. So, you know, they don't like the fact that us Virgos are very intelligent. We're, we're aware of what's going on when our mind and our heart are in the correct place. They don't like the fact that we're resourceful. So they spend a lot of time being jealous and envious because, you know, on top of all of the hard work that we're gonna have to put in to get even a single inch, any way, any direction that we wanna get an inch in, we're gonna have to fight for that. But but you have people who are jealous who thinks, even if we're fighting and scratching and we're willing to, you know, go to our grave in order to get an inch because these inches are all around us that we're trying to get to they don't they a lot of people still don't think that we deserve to get to get any inches to get any inch in any kind of direction they just want to play a dislike you know what i mean but then the but the the two of swords though represents how but a lot of people can't re, they can't come to the conclusion themselves because the two of swords represents them being defensive. They don't like the idea that you Virgos don't have time to talk to them and you're doing your own thing and you're living your life. And there's no harm or foul. You have no kind of hard feelings towards anybody or is disrespectful. You're doing your own thing. Because remember, Virgo, y'all were the ugly duckling. People didn't want you. Right? So then now the King of Swords, excuse me, the King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles are all about how, so you are doing your thing. Three of Pentacles, you're looking around to see what's the best romantic interaction that you can have. Not even just romantic, financial, health-wise, family-wise. You're living your life. You're bigging yourself up. You're doing you. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. Right. The moon. Uh oh. Knight of Wands. Six of Swords. Strength card. Six of Pentacles. Right. The moon and, and the Knight of Wands. Ghosting. 
staying silent, staying what a Virgo naturally is, understated. A lot of people like to cut style. A lot of people like to give you Virgos a very low appraisal, you know, a very low appraisal. Oh, you know, you coming in, putting in a gold, uh, uh, you know, a gold chain around your neck. It, it, could, it could potentially be worth a house or a down payment on a house. Now, all of a sudden, it's what happened. When it comes to you, Virgos, it's Virgo math, right? They try to they try to give you Virgo math. Well, you know, three plus two isn't five. You know, three plus two is four. You know, you know, short change in you. Oh, you know, so a lot of you Virgos, honestly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, a lot of you Virgos are just like, that's okay. You're going to let people, because Cat Williams is a Virgo. Look at how many people watching the whole Cat Williams thing. But a lot of you Virgos are looking at it from a perspective of that's okay if people are going to downgrade and downplay you. Because it just it just goes to show you how laughable the situation is where people got to play like they're blind to it. But you're not going to hang around these weirdos that can't give you your credit and can't tell you it's a job well done that's in hyper competitiveness or hyper competition with you you virgos are going to remain silent and live your lives and do what it is that you got to do and regardless of who's competing with you it's not about that it's about keeping your mouth shut the six of swords and the strength represents while you get a lot of other people's attention on the low that don't know you and, and tried to play you out. You Virgos staying on point and meeting people and getting to know other people and creating friendships and romantic interests and away from people that want to play you out and want to play the silly games with you like you nothing when you know, when they know you've got something going on. See, one of our biggest downfalls is that us as Virgos don't give ourselves enough credit. Enough of that. I'm not doing that anymore. You know, I'm not doing that anymore. Real talk. Virgos should be. Virgos, just like all the other zodiac signs, just like all the other zodiac signs, should be praised. With us as Virgos are one of the only ones that have the common sense and humility to stay quiet and to not allow our egos to overtake us to the point where we have to, them in Pisces, we have to constantly show and prove and act like we're on point to the whole world. That's not something that a Virgo with their mind and their heart and their heart are in the correct place are going to do. Because I don't have to show and prove to other people that I got money because people want to talk about how it is I live in whatever or live in poverty or whatever the case may be. Okay, but money is not money. You can say whatever it is that you want. Financial money is not the parameter or the end all be all, the absolute for what success is. And no one said anything about me being poor. No one said anything about you Virgos being poor, but this is the stupidity of where we where we are. Everybody is in hyper competition. As soon as people see you Virgos or Pisces or, you know, what I'm saying or or or, <laughs> or Aries or whatever, it has to be it has to be a a a a. a we're met, you know, it has to be a measuring contest of liabilities all of these stupid things all of these liabilities all of this you know what i'm saying all of the stupid comparisons of liabilities you feel proud to compare a liability which is in this case a car to another car just because you got a lambo okay you're gonna get a lot of attention with it but in the book the millionaire next door it says that most of the millionaires on the planet drive a Prius. So that kind of alludes to what it is I was talking about the other day about how the Prius, right, in a Gemini video about how it is that 
you know, when you drive in a Prius, but that went over a lot of people's heads. You understand what I'm saying? That a lot, you don't know what game is, right? Like a lot of people don't know what game is. They don't know what they're actually doing, why they're doing it. They're doing it because they're doing it for the clout. It's not even about the money. It's not even about the success. It's not even about actually known for being valuable, Virgo. They're doing it for the clout. And the thing about it is that, go ahead, my love. The thing about it is that the Six of Pentacles represents how, since that's the case, you, you know, there's always money. There's always money raining on you, Virgos, because you got it in here. And wealth is way more to do than just finances. But this is the stupidity of others. This is why Mercury goes in a retrograde so much. It's because people want to be on stupid stuff. You want to talk about love, right? People want to talk about love while at the same time getting into a, a dysfunctional relationship with somebody that they're not supposed to be with because it's just going to create dysfunction. But then they're running to the internet, which is Virgo and Aquarius, by the way, and Gemini, by the way, talking about how it is that they can't find love. It's like, if you don't shut up, but this is where we at now. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. You Virgos are doing your thing and y'all are not worried about it and you shouldn't. And I don't want you Virgos to ever worry about it. Because this is where we are right now, the dysfunction. 